hello guys welcome back so let's start this course so we will create a brand new flutter project so click on new flutter project make sure that you select flutter from the left side and then click next and here you have to provide your project name and the project name must be in small english alphabets so i will give it name as uh, user underscore in driver app let's say our app name is let's say in driver okay so that's why we give it in driver otherwise you can give it any name you want this will be our users app so remember the name must be in small english alphabets instead of space you can use underscore then here you have to provide your name for example my name is Muhammad Ali or you can write your official website let's say your website is let's say codingcafe.com so you can write coding cafe it's totally up to you anyways as this will be only for the Android iOS as is the users app so just check Android iOS click create so brand new project is creating So as you can see it is created now the next thing is you already know that from here make sure that you select project so you already know that uh, inside the lib we have we, we create our dot files where we write our uh, programming let's say uh, we will create a dot file for sign in you will create a file for sign up okay and so on and then in the popspec.yml we add the dependencies any package which we want for example let's say if there is a package for using the google map or let's say firebase authentication firebase uh, real-time database and so on so we will add these packages here okay dependencies and also we here we add the reference to our assets which can be images or which can be fonts okay so this is just the basic structure you already know about this I explain this for the students who are new to flutter so anyways first thing first uh, we have the main dot dot where we have the default code for example we have this uh, my home page my home page stat which we do not need so we will simply remove it okay and what we gonna do is here instead I mean the title we will replace it with our own like this is the users app so we will say users app and we will remove these extra comments we do not need that and then we will also remove this so for now we will just create right click on lib new and let's create a new folder new package or new directory and we will give it name as auth which means the authentication press enter so as you can see auth folder is created right click on auth new dot file and first we will create the sign in page so we can give it name as sign in underscore page sign in page import material dot dot and we will have a stateful widget we will give it name as a sign in page and then for now we will just add a scaffold widget and from the main dot dot we will say that sign in is our first screen for now return scaffold and the body of our sign in page let's quickly design it so we will add a scrolling that's if there is a user whose phone screen size is small so there will be a scroll padding from all side it will be 12 and then after it say child column widget First we add a size box of height 122 and then we add a image which will represent that login as a user. So for that purpose uh, we will add a asset folder in our project. So right click on user and driver app new directory and we will give it name as assets. Inside the assets folder I will provide this image file. Okay, Please download this. Once you download it then copy it 
and then come back to your project right click on assets click paste click ok so inside the assets we have sign in dot webp this image file which we have to include here inside the pubspec.yml so what we can do we can say assets now remember one thing that is the this assets okay the assets a must be below this hash sign or you can say this uses material u sign no space forward no space backward otherwise you will get errors and then after it we define the path where we will have our images so in our case below the second s of assets we have this dash then one space and then after it we include the folder name which is assets in our case and the slash mean whatever is inside this assets folder that is now the part of our this flutter project which is users and driver app click on pubget in order to install it also you can run the pubget command by, from the terminal by simply typing like flutter pubget but if you are using the Android Studio, then you see these suggestions inside the pubspec.yml. So you have to just click on pubget. If the exit code is zero, it means everything goes successful. That is, there is no error. So you will simply say image.asset and our image name, which is inside the assets folder by the name sign in dot webp after this we can add some space and then we can add padding child column children widget first we add the first text field of course we need the text setting controller for it in order that is when the user enter the text in the text field we have to get that so for that we can say text setting controller text setting controller equals to text editing controller so the first one will be for email and the other one will be for the password so for example now we can say that the controller for the first text field will be email the keyboard type for the email it will be text input type dot email address then decoration input decoration the label text will be user email and then if you want to apply some style on the label you can do so by simply saying label style text style and let's say I want the font size or font family anything you want to give it for example 14 and let's apply some style on our text field so after decoration we can say style text style that is the input text for the text field so if you want you can give it any color like black so any color you want you can simply write that color here then after the email we have some space then the same text field we can add for the password for the password we add of secure text property which means make the password secure that is it will convert the password to dotted form that is in static form that is it will be hidden and the keyboard type will be text then of course the input decoration and then textile then some space 
and then we will have the elevated button on pressed let's apply some style on this button that is style elevated button dot style form background color and padding and then after it we can say child text widget and we will have the text that is the name of this button will be login or you can say login now so after this if you want you can add comment here okay here we have email password text field as you can see and the elevated button and then after this we can have the space some space and then a text button on pressed child text and it will be don't have an account sign up here right click on auth new dot, dot file and we can create sign up underscore page we will import the material dot dot and we create stateful widget we will give it name as a sign up page for now we will leave it empty you will just say return scaffold so from here and the user click on this button which is don't have account sign up here we will send the user to the sign up page navigator dot push context material page root builder c sign up page Now let's test our application. Now please keep in mind that never test your application on your Android emulator or iOS simulator. Especially in the new Android Studio versions, the new emulator has bugs. Okay, that is for the second time whenever you want to install and test the app on your emulator, it shows you a blank screen. So try to test the application always on your real phone. So for example, I'm going to connect on my real phone. Connect your phone to your laptop or PC or MacBook. So for example, mine one is connected and I will simply install the app on my phone. So the app is running now. So you can see this is the user interface. So what we can do is we will decrease the size of our image. That is what we can do is we can apply the width on over this image according to the screen size that is whatever the user phone screen size is according to that it will adjust so you can say dot size dot dot width and we will take multiply it with dot 7 that is 70 percent of the screen width so let's see how it looks as you can see if you want to decrease it further you can stack 60% of the screen size so it will look like this and this space is too much so let's make it 10 so now it looks good and also the text of the login button style textile color for this will be you can make it black or white okay it is totally up to you let's start work on the sign up UI so we will go to the sign up page dot dot file and in here so now let's initialize the text reading controllers which we will need for the text fields here for taking input from the user now what we can do is for the time saving we will go to the sign up pa sign in page and from the sign in page you just copy this whole scaffold, scaffold code and 
go to the sign up page and here we can simply add that like this and then of course we have the for the sign up we have different image so I will provide this image file please download it and then copy it and go to your project right click on assets click paste click OK and then we can say sign up dot webp then first of all we have the email then we have the password now what we can do is we can simply copy paste this first text field two times one two first we have the text field for name username so we can see user name the keyboard type will be text and then after it we have the user phone text editing controller and then of course we have the button which is sign up or you can say create account then here we can have already have an account button login here and when the user click on it we send the user to the sign in page so now let's install the app on our phone click on sign up here and you can see this is our sign up page now also on the sign up page and sign in page let's add a title at the top for example after the image here we can add a text field and we can say register new account similarly on the sign in page we can do the same after the image we can say login login as a user so it will look like this as you can see 